the TV because I'm really ready for us to start hanging out here, especially since we're about to get And like, I feel like when I cleaned up the basement yesterday, mm -hmm. once all of that's gone, and I can move that, we can definitely fit it. I think I'm going to mount it, like, over here. On the wall? Mm -hmm. And you want to get rid of that, or that's going to be filled without even using it? It's a possibility it might get rid of it. I'm not sure yet. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we're back with an all new video. Today is Monday, February the 13th, 12th, 13th, 12th? 13th. February the 13th. 13th? Yeah. Um, Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, it is. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, so uh, of course you guys know um, we're back with an all new video. Oh, God. We were just here. What's my hair? When I said something to you, you said that's the look you were going for. You I said, never looked at she myself. She said she was going for Katy Perry's look yesterday. I just like, never looked at myself. I have no idea what my head looks like. Yeah, eyes evil. What's going on? Wipe your eyes out. I did. I just did. Like, I'm so just, dirty. I'm not dirty. I just washed my face. I just got the shower. Um, we were actually off today and. <laughs> I didn't go to sleep till like almost five o'clock this morning. Then I had to get up and get Cardi ready for school, and I had to go get my mother and my nephew. So I just came home and made a breakfast, and the rest is history. I've been asleep all day. It's beautiful. No, it's not. I don't like sleeping on here. Yeah, but you needed it. If you would have been at work, you would have been grouchy, then you would have came home annoyed. Like so, sometimes you just need to get that sleep in. So um, again. It's the day after the Grammys. Um, I'm wearing my Beyonce shirt. I feel like I've worn this shirt like all weekend. I have washed it though. Shout out to um, Aunt Angie. But I just felt like I needed to wear it so you guys can see who the album of the year belonged to. Her album is actually back in the top five on the chart. Sorry. It's number three so, on iTunes. Number three on iTunes. So I just wish that everybody would just calm down because. Oh, excuse me, I haven't ate all this much. Um, I, um, I stayed up because I was washing clothes and I wanted to make sure that I got a brand new review up. And I posted it. And when I woke up to take her to school, I started reading some of the comments and I was just like, whoa, like, y'all are livid with the Dow, with the Grammys with me, like, I was like, <laughs> shit, like, <laughs> damn. But, um, I just wanted to address the whole me unfollowing people last night. First of all, I want to say, please don't take it so personal, you know. I had somebody the other day saying, um, you know, you want your, sh you want your show to elevate, but you're unfollowing people for their opinions. No. You can have all the opinions that you want to. You can feel how you want to. You can hate Adele. I mean, I think it's stupid of you to, you know, hate Adele and be mad at Adele in this situation, but if I don't want to see it on my Twitter timeline or my Instagram timeline, I have every right to unfollow me or block you if I want to. <laughs> me, it is not in my YouTube contract to follow anybody. So I just don't get it. Like, I don't understand why people are so upset. Can I tell you something? I block, I block family all the time. Block family? Oh, Shit, I don't even... I request. What? As soon as I see a family member and send in a request, it's an ignore. So, like, I mean, don't... We unfollow each other. We block each other. The only thing we don't do is spam each other because we don't want each other's pages to be messed up. But, like... If I see Tiffany, if like it's a subject that we disagree on and she's passionate about it and I just can't handle it, I will block that ass. Yes, I will right. unfollow it. It's like a block and an unfollow is just it's not that serious. Uh, if I don't if I don't wanna see your slander, I don't have to. And I can say it's only just like, you know, you say one thing. But if you're constantly saying something that they're retweeting other people, and if I just don't want to see that, I'm not in the space to receive what you're saying, I don't have to be a part of it. But that shouldn't make you upset 
or try to, you know, attack us in the comments. Or they say I would appreciate your support. Because we do. We appreciate your support. We appreciate, I mean, cause the thing about it is that's the whole point of us being like humans and we don't have to have the same opinion. And we don't always have to be in agreement on a subject. Exactly. But as long as we respect each other, that's fine. And if I feel like the only way I can res continually respect you is to unfollow you or block you, then you have to give me that right. Maybe it's we're not right. right. Maybe we're not that if I just... You shouldn't have said it, maybe. Responded to you on Twitter and told you how I felt about all of the tweets and things you were saying. Like, I just didn't want to see it. I don't want to see the Adele slander. I don't want to see yeah. it on my timeline. You can feel that way, but I don't. I literally muted hashtag Adele on Twitter because I just didn't want to see it because to me, it's not Adele's fault. It's that not. She got album of the year. It's not. She tried to give it away. She even broke it. Like she, and then she went at behind, at the stage in the press run and re, pretty much what she said on stage elaborated on it for a good five to seven minutes. So it's just like you know, it's not her fault. That's just like you know. It, it's not her fault that she won it, but she knew that Lemonade deserved it. And I feel like because she did come up there and she spoke out about it twice, it made me respect her even more because anybody else would have just took it. Yeah, she talked about went, it three times. And said, peace, about it. and said, peace out, Beyonce. She talked about it. She talked about it for both of the awards that she received on actual TV. Right. And then she did it behind the scenes and then I had somebody in the comments like, Fuck Adele. She should have gave Beyonce that Grammy. Okay, she could have gave it to her. She, she could have gave her the actual Grammy, and it still would have been in the books that she won out of the year. Do you think Beyonce would have taken her Grammy? I mean, what more did you want for Adele to do? Actually walk down and place it in Beyonce's hands? Like she on the Grammy on national television. She said, I would just you I love the fact that you nominated me, but I can accept this award. This award belongs to Beyonce and Lemonade. What more do you want than that? I just what more do you want than that? I just don't understand, but I understand, you know, that a lot of you guys are really, really upset. I mean I get it. I mean I was upset last night too. I was talking about killing people's um, killing people's first born children. And but you know what? <laughs> but you know what? I, um there are different levels to being a beehive member. And I've explained that before. Like, I've been in that stage to where I've been the beehive member that would attack people, would argue back and forth with people, would be mad for days, you know, talking down on other artists. And it's just, you know, I'm, y'all saw what age I just turned. I just, I'm not there. Like, <laughs> I'm just not there. Like, I, I'm disappointed. I'm sad. But today is a new day. And we had to move on. And the like, thing about it is, we know she deserved it. Beyonce knows that we know that she deserves it. Adele knows that Beyonce deserves it. The, the people who gave Adele the award knows that Beyonce deserves it. Like, everybody knows that Beyonce deserves it. So it's nothing we can do. Literally, I was, because Adele's gonna receive her Grammy mm -hmm. within this week. Mm -hmm. Even if Adele, the one that says album of the year, she took it, took her name off, and put lemonade in Beyonce, and then sent it to Beyonce. If you go to Grammys.com and you look in the books, it's Adele's, and it's nothing that we, it hurts, it's sad, but it's nothing that we can do about that at all. But continue to move on. It's still gonna be Adele's, and I mean, y'all can come in the comments and y'all can be upset with me all you want, but to me, I just feel like you're wasting your time because I'm definitely not going to argue back and forth. Don't be upset in our comments. You need to go to the grandmews.com. Start putting in some complaints. Start writing a letter. Start writing letters. Start petitions. Like, if you have that much energy, put it towards the people who it needs to go towards. Figure out how you can become a part of the committee. Like, I just don't know what to I need to know how I now. Now that's smart. I need to know how I can become. Yeah, a part they got of the um, Simone's sister is a part of the committee. They send her um, 
something every year and she fills out, you know, uh -huh. who she thinks should win in each category and she mails it in. She's part of the committee. So I just don't know. Like, I, I just feel bad that everybody's, I mean, it's okay to be upset, but I just think it's unnecessary. Because if you go back to our Grammy review from whenever she lost to Beck, we can bash Beck. I have never heard this man or this group who I still don't know. And like I said, I don't, I try my best not to call people's work, especially artists, mm -hmm. not to call their work trash. You do call people's work trash. I said I try. <laughs> I'm, I'm human. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I try okay. not to call people's work of art, you know, trash, right. especially people who really are artists. Right. Now, Lil Yachty, I don't know him. I will call him trash. He's not even a rapper. He doesn't know who Biggie is. He doesn't know who Biggie verse. Fetty Wap doesn't know Biggie verse. Like, I can call them trash if I want to, I believe. Okay. But, like, real artists, I'm not going to do that. And it's just like, granted, we felt like Adele didn't deserve album of the year to batch her and her work. It's just ridiculous mm -hmm. because it's, a, it's an awesome album. Like, like don't you ever, don't ever get it twisted. I just don't personally think that it's better believe, than Lemonade. I didn't believe it was better than Lemonade. I don't believe her message behind 25 was as powerful as the message behind Lemonade. I don't believe the visuals alone, Beyonce dropped a visual for Lemonade. Like, it was just amazing. It, it, she, again, with the drop of this, she made the world stop. Mm -hmm. Again. Like, it's just like all of that put into a package. I honestly can't believe that she didn't win it. And like, I even see people on there like, I can't believe y'all surprised. I'm, I'm, no, I am. I, am I really am surprised because she deserved it. Like, it's just like she's deserving of that. But I, I do, I do agree with a lot of people. And I said it last night. I think that Beyonce should start to attend the Soul Train Awards. She should, first. She should attend the Image Awards. She should attend the BET Awards. I mean, she did this year, but. I think she should make it regular. Like I think she should support our own, especially because they always look out for Beyonce. And somebody said, I saw it on Twitter, they were like, she should stop putting her album into the Grammys mm -hmm. to be nominated. And I don't think she should stop. She should continuously do it. I mean, because Beyonce is Beyonce. Like, let's not get it twisted. She should do that. She should get the awards, and then she should not show up. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, it's just it's a sensitive subject. It's a lot of sensitive sadness out there. But hopefully, Me, I'm you, know, on. you get it together. But there's some real life shit going on in the world right now, and I have to deal with. You know, Donald Trump is the president. I got bills due. You know, health issues, work. My nail is broke. Like I like a Gumby haircut, and my nail tech is not. Like I just haircut. can't. I'm not in hospital no more. Like I just can't sit and be grouchy and upset. I mean, I had to listen to my aunt and granny. Have you heard them today? What? They both were just like, I can't even upset watching the Grammys. Like, you know, I like, I like to get that Beyonce, but um, Adele was just better. You know, it's it's going to be it people wasn't. like out there like that. But it's going to be people out there like that. It, it is what it is. My grandmother hasn't heard either, <laughs> and I'm whispering because she's upset and she will smack me. <laughs> my grandmother hasn't heard either video either album, and she has it. Saw a lemonade visual. <laughs> so, what she has to say is it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. My plan is in Adele's thing. Mm -hmm. But for somebody, if you listen to the Adele album and listen to Lemonade, let's see, let me tell you a, a, a secret. My aunt was scared of the lemonade when it dropped. And you know, from her telling us that she was scared of Eve's by you, it brought yeah. so yeah. many things back. Yeah. I was like, that's why she was kind of frightened. Right. A lemonade, she didn't know what was going on. And that's understandable. And then there's people out here who believe that that album is better. But I'm here to tell you as a fact, because I'm a fact, I can tell, I tell facts. As a fact, lemonade is better. And I have spoken. Um, but I did, I've gone back and watched the performance twice, and it's just such a beautiful fucking performance. That performance was Holy amazing. shit. Like, Beyonce looks so beautiful. It's unreal. Like, Beyonce is so old and greasy. She looks like a fucking honey bun. Like, I can't 
titties just sitting her Yo, face. I really I love just, that she's tapping into this. I think it's like an African. Like this is called Ocean. Oh, it's o o o o I Oshun. think that's what it's called. It's, I think she's like an African goddess of like fertility and love mm -hmm. and sexy and beautifulness. Everything that Beyonce is. She looks. She's golden like the sun. So if you notice, ever since when the name popped out, that's not her thing. Was hold up. Mm -hmm. She's golden like the sun. Like it's just crazy. Beyonce literally looked like. What you should put at the top of your Christmas tree. And just, like, I would actually love what it, the exact outfit and crown she had on put at the top of my tree. Now, like literally her. I would put up. Let's talk I swear, about I this dress. Because I saw it. You did? In the dress, it's a little stitching, I guess, of a lady. Mm -hmm. it, it could be Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh, it could be Beyonce. Who knows? Looking. And her pregnant stomach, is she looking at that? Mm -hmm. And she's just like looking so lovingly. Like, who make the team make the dress? I don't know, but she just looks so pretty. Like, her voice was just amazing. Love Drought was just beautiful. And for her to be able to get up and sing Love Drought. And then, did you notice that she went and had a seat at the table? Like, it just was a lot for me. It was a nice. The more and more I look at her leaning back in that chair, though, I get goosebumps. Yo, when like, I Jesus. saw the, the, the pictures of her practice, yeah, it's just too much. I can't handle it. I can't. No, Beyonce, no, don't. You're my lifeline, and you're trying to kill. Exactly. Me. Like I almost had a heart attack. What are y'all doing? And then it was like people were saying that she actually bought the, you know, the vision from the picture that she actually took to sh to announce her pregnancy, the flowers, and she brought did. it to the stage. It just let's talk about the flowers. <sighs> The flowers were dropping the whole night. The whole night on other people's performances. The whole night. It was just flower petals everywhere. I was here. You know it. But um, so yeah, the Grammys are over, you guys. But Beyonce and Jay Z, DJ Khaled, you know, dropped the song last night. I did get a chance to listen to it. I want to listen to it some more, but I actually like it, and I really like the lyrics. Beyonce's really, really, really happy in the song. Let's talk about this. Beyonce wants to be a rapper so bad. Beyonce is a rapper, and you can definitely hear it in this song. Like she, a rapper. I want to say her verse might have been better than Jay's, honestly. Beyonce got bars. She really did. And the thing about it is, like, everybody was just like, you know, about her dropping this. And I was like, this song was going to drop whether she won or not. Right. If she would have won the song, it was, the, it was the whole point. Right. That was the thing. So, um, because they were just like, she's still shining. Right. Look what she dropped. It, I mean, she is still shining, but it was going to come out regardless. Right. So. But yeah, um, so moving on to our weekend, um, we went to Lynchburg, Virginia this past weekend on like a big family bus trip to uh, our granny's 70th birthday party, which was basically a church service. I told them, they, I've been telling people for weeks, please bet me money. Bet me money. Literally, nobody wanted to bet me money. A church service, but um, it was nice. It was exactly what she wanted. She went to the church. She filled the coach bus. It was nothing but people just, you know, telling about how much they love her and stuff like that. That's exactly what she wanted. You so. know, my grandma could easily be like the queen of England. It's honestly, true. it's true. But on her actual birthday is Thursday, and on Thursday she wants pizza and wings for her 70th birthday. So a pizza party. She wants pizza party. God bless her heart. Right. So um, and Sunday, of course, you guys know we had a little Grammy lemonade party where we basically just had Uncle Al, Nay, Simone, our cousin George that was here. And shout out to George again who was at our um, in our Grammy review last night. He was here I from love um, he was here from Atlanta, and um, he blessed our studio and came and. You know, gave his thoughts, but today I threw down in the kitchen. Um, you want me to tell me what you made? Yeah. She made crab nachos, which I know was supposed to be a no measurement, but she hadn't made it in so long. Right, so I just wanted to perfect it. Make it. I wanted just to make sure that I still remember. And you know what I actually it. think? I actually think that it could. Can it be a thing to like where it's made up like you make regular nachos? Because it's like, is there any way you can get past the? Because once you bake the whole pan, they kind of get kind of soggy. Right. Yeah. I mean, so we want more chips. The only 
reason why I kind of like bake them mm -hmm. is for the cheese on top of them out. But what if we like literally put all the sauce inside of like a pan that we can just bake that and then we just take a spoon like and a pour it on a nacho? Yeah. yeah. Be, I think yeah. that actually might work out a little better mm -hmm. because it's like you don't even really want to eat the soggy nachos. You just eat the dip off the top. Yeah, so. eat, even the brie dip in it. So yeah, yeah. I probably just want to leave it as dip. Yeah, but it was really, really good. Um, we also had like many, uh, many loaded potatoes. Um, we had wing bar that consisted of uh, honey mustard wings, honey barbecue wings, and what was the other ones? I didn't just regular roasted, roasted wings. wings. Regular roasted wings. We had um, a salad. We had shrimp tacos. I think that was it. I think that was it. We had, of course, we had a cake that was yellow and it was lemon flavor. Let me tell you about. Oh, and a drink. She made a special head. lemonade drink. Somehow we made it. Shout out to someone. Shout out to someone. Um, the niggas here. You know, everybody's eating. I look at the bowl of beautiful salad. That was that beautiful. We that was beautiful. Nobody eats salad. Simone ate salad. And so once I said it, Simone went back and ate salad. And I think Uncle L may have ate like a little bit just because I said it. Yeah. I actually hope it's still fresh so I can eat it. It is. It's still nice. I think I'm going to take some of the Yeah, more. I think I will too. But um, it was a really good night. We had a really fun time. And it was nice that we got to hang out with George because he doesn't live here. So I guess, you know, since we went down there and he came up here, we're going to have to go to Atlanta again. Yo, I'm pumped. I told you, I want to go back to Atlanta just to eat. I have everywhere. Oh my god, I would love to go to that place George took us for breakfast. Oh my god, yes! God, that yes, yes. I can't, what was it called? I Something Donna. I don't know what it was. I can't remember what it was called. But, um, that biscuit. So let's get into the show real quick. Um, I don't want to talk too long because we are actually about to go out to dinner with um, George and Uncle Al because he leaves tomorrow. So I'm hungry. I want to get to that. Um, the first thing I want to do is give a big, big, big shout out to my favorite shows, Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, which have all been reviewed for new seasons. I believe it's still so season 14 for Grey's Anatomy, mm. season 7 for Scandal, and season 4 for How to Get Away with Murder. How to Get Away with Murder is the bomb. Y'all, y'all, now y'all know. I, I was kind of worried about Scandal not coming back, y'all. I think Scandal was going I didn't know. One more season. Listen, I didn't know, but instantly I was just like, all right, Shonda, we got another season to try to get Olix back together. Don't play with me. Stop playing with me. I just want to talk to her because I just want to be like, you know, I just feel like you should at least give us on one of your shows yeah. some love. Like, you. Don't go out. Um, no. I mean, Dark and Meredith. Because they were a fairy tale. And you just ripped that to shreds. Like, nobody can be in love. Look at poor Nate and Annalise. Like, Shelly. look at Annalise and her husband. Like, it's just crazy. You, I need to talk to you. You may have to see Ayanna. What's wrong with you? I'm just, I'm so, 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 so excited that Skank was coming back. Like, I'm, I'm excited because Carrie Washington is a pregnant. Please do not get pregnant over the summer, over the summer Carrie. Please let us have a full season. Please, Shonda, take her back to her gorgeous rap. Like, just bring back what the old Olivia Pope that we had. Bring it back. No more election. Let's get back to OPA. Let's right. Just, I'm just ready to bring get back. back. Like, circle. And if this is going to be the last season, let's take it out strong. Like, come on, Shonda, please. You can do it. It's all in the power of your pen. Do it for me. But speaking of, um, speaking of how to get away with murder, um, we watched that this past Thursday. We talked about it a little bit on Thursday. I actually wish I would have had a chance to rewatch it. But I just remember that for some reason I feel like Nate and that DA really, really, really have something to do with what's dying now. Um, because remember the body is miss Wes's body is missing now. I think somebody I think somebody wrote um I think somebody signed Nate's name on there. I don't think he did that. The transfer of the body. Yeah. Because if that was the case, and you remember how they were saying it, he was almost like but what did I have to do with it? And then they showed him his name and the way he was looking at it, like... I don't know. I, I'll have to rewatch it, but... I'll say this. I, I was thinking about it in the shower just now. I really don't want him to have to wait until the season finale to find out who killed Wes. I do know that. I want to know now. Like, I want to know within the next two episodes. I do. Because I, at first I kind of thought it was Bonnie. 
but I don't think it's Bonnie I Bay. Um, I definitely feel like it has something to do with the DA. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not quite sure how Nate plays a part in it, or if he does, but I feel like he may. Um, you know who else is saying it might be is Maggie. A lot of people are thinking that Maggie has something to do with it. Yeah, but that's just kind of weird. I mean, but she, she has every, I mean, I don't know how she could have got there or whatever, but I do know that she has every right to be mad enough to kill Wes and Liz. I mean, he played. The only thing I can think with Maggie is she may have saw Laurel. No, it's not even that she What if Laurel saw killed them? them? Like, I just, but Laurel, that means she would have, she blew herself up too. I don't know. Like, it's weird. Like, you have to try to think of somebody who, like, Cause Laurel just was there by the front, like it was like a, you know, she was she was like a victim, like she wasn't mm-hmm. supposed to be there. But it's just like, or I really, really think whoever did it, I think the DA might have done it, and they were meaning to blow up Annalise's ass. That could be possible too. But she called everybody to come to the house, house. Yeah. so that's kind of you know what happened. I'm just hoping that it doesn't go back to the Mahomes because that would be weak if they were the ones that ended up doing it. I just hope it's not that. Maybe. A lot of people are saying that too. So I hope it's not that. But I mean, it's just how you know when murders getting crazy. Cicely Tyson was on there this week. So shout out to Cic- Cicely. is old as shit, still killing you. Yo, how is she? She ain't innocent. I got a question. Does she remember her line or do y'all let her just say what she wants? I think she remembers. Because how does she remember? <laughs> what do you mean? She's so old. Don't play with her. Don't. I'm just asking. Oh, she's a legend. I'm just asking the question. But um, finally, Annalise is out of jail, so I'm excited Please. to see next week and Please, see, you know, can we? what she's going to be up to. And Let's have her face come down, okay? Because she got her ass whooped in jail. Y'all really had her looking like that. She's so a Martin. Y'all did. I can't lie. That, her, yo, her eye was like this. I'm, I'm ready for the wig and some makeup and her eyelashes and some lipstick. I'm ready for you to be a I am wondering where things will go down at now since the house is gone. I, I was worried about that from the day I found out it blew up. Bonnie's house. Whatever. But, um, so, yeah, shout out to How to Get Away with Murder. Um, Aretha Franklin has announced that she will be officially retiring and putting out her last album. I thought she already retired. Um, me personally, I did too, but then I was just like, let you be quiet because um, Aretha Franklin stands, which they have every right to attack me. I mean, Aretha Franklin is a legend. My mother is an Aretha Franklin stand. I was like, so let me just. No, it's no shade. I mean, if you, I, I just don't, I really thought she was already retired. Yeah. They said her last album, um, I think it was like the Divas album or something that she had on some, some Converse's and Yo, some that's so shoddy right? pants and. <laughs> it is the funniest thing. Have you ever seen it? Yeah, I saw the, the cover, but I just couldn't remember the name of the album. Yo, that makeup, her makeup was terrible. So they said they that she justice for um, Aretha Franklin. Like, she needs one last album to really take it out. So shout out to her. Is she putting out new music or is it remix and her own stuff? I think she might be putting out new music. Who knows? What? Not sure. I'm ready for a new Aretha song. So um, shout out to Aretha Franklin. Um. Um, I'm not sure if you guys saw the new Real Housewives of Atlanta trailer. We actually got to catch some of um, Real Housewives of Atlanta last night. And you know what? That damn Portia and Candy, I really feel like Candy and Portia had sex with Shamia. And Shamia told them. And I feel like Shamia told every detail of what each of them did to each other. Right. Like, because Candy's just like, oh, because I know all about it. And Portia like, like, oh, like, I know all about you did. too. And I'm just like, spill the Yeah, Sh- Sheree's ridiculous. And Marlo. Marlo, that's Marlo, why where did you even there. come from? That's why you don't have Yeah, it's, it's just too because much. Because you're too, you're too much. And the thing about it is, Sheree's like, I told you that in confidence. Girl. And then she won't say, because I know how to, she won't say, I carry all the bones because I know how to keep a secret. Well, obviously, you can't keep a secret if Marlo is telling some, like, Marlo, you weren't even there. You weren't there. You don't even, you have, you weren't there for either conversation. So you don't have the right to say anything. Nothing. I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, it's just, it's really annoying, but I honestly feel like it's pick on Portia. Oh, yeah. And I can't stand it. Like, I really, really hate it, but 
I will say that I feel like Portia, honest to God, didn't know that when Marlo was talking about that she was talking about she, her. I think Portia thought that um, Phaedra was going to, I mean that, I think she thought that Marlo and Sheree was going to say Phaedra. I, because you saw Phaedra had to take Phaedra the was shot. actually the one who literally said that Shamia and Candy had sex. Phaedra was the one said, who said it. Now Portia did say like that smart comment or maybe she coming out the closet or something like that, but like Portia said, like, I was just being shady because that's what I can do. But as far as actually saying she's a lesbian, I never said those words. She never said that. You know, that's why, honestly, I could never be on a show like this with all these bitches. I had to put my jean jacket in the dryer now. Never. I could never be on a show like this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly too much. And, but like I said, I really don't think that Portia thought that she was going to say her. Especially and, she was, she was, and she was like, who said that? Right. And neither did Phaedra. Because Phaedra thought that she was about to say her. Phaedra had to get drunk yeah, real she was quick. Taking a lot of and once she found out that she wasn't talking about her, it was almost like a relief. Like she couldn't get her nerves together. Like she was just taking them back, taking them back. Because Phaedra was the one that said it. So why didn't you say Phaedra? But again, you were not there. Right. You weren't there. Yeah. So, but um, anyway, so the trailer has come out and it's just showing a different thing that's going to happen the rest of the season. But it shows that um, they're going to uh, Maui, I think. Mm -hmm. They're going somewhere and they're going to have a trip and Kang, you're going to be ready to fight. And oh, God. The thing about it is, like, I, it makes me so mad because all of them make so much fun of Portia, you know, uh, with the whole anger management thing mm. or all of them say like oh you know how at one point like they were acting like they couldn't say anything to her mm -hmm. because she's so crazy and she, mm -hmm. all of y'all bitches need anger management yeah all of you argue yeah all of y'all are get so candy you cannot voice your opinion without you getting shaky and about to cry you need to go to some type of therapy yourself like what do you mean? They're very emotional, Candy. But um, I'm excited because there are rumors that Kim and me may be joining. Please no. don't be tardy for this party. Come back. I'll be so excited. I mean, yeah, it is already a scene where Kenya and Kim are going to be oh, arguing at Sheree's housewarming. Go off Kim. Because y'all not only even like Kim's ass. She does always the Kenya shit. But you want to be me. You, you want to have kids. You want to have family. You don't have either. And let's not see, Kenya, you, you, you're too quick to run your mouth because let's not forget, Croy was definitely a football player, so don't try to make it seem like they don't have any money. Also, Kim still has a show on that she makes money off of. Like, they have income, so... Oh, oh, let, let's just say the first thing. What are you doing <laughs> on the show? Because you're the only one you're not that has not been a wife. Not even a housewife. You haven't been a wife. You cannot keep a man. All of the men you had from Walter, who you paid, to this African prince that you made up, to Matt, who you probably paid again. Like, you know, poor Matt. I feel bad for him. To me, Matt is a victim. Honestly. I don't really know much about him, so. To me, Matt is a victim. I know these parts of the show where she has him going crazy. Mm -hmm. She taunted him. It's she made cool. him do Kenya is so dramatic. I know the boy. Not one time has she called police. You got time to play. You are a dumb hoe. Did you have fun? Yes. I felt like Kenya for a moment. Give it back. You should have yanked my hair and dragged me on the floor. You know how I did. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I'm excited. I really hope that Kim and Nini are coming back, bring back the, bring back some life to the show, cause it's just nothing but. I mean, Sheree brought back some life. I'll say that, like. No, but messy life. But messy. We want the mess. No, it was too messy. Like Sheree was just too messy. We want. Sheree's in at every meeting with everybody. <laughs> See, so it's that's how I know the show's also made up too. Because after telling your business to somebody once and you see that they go back, yeah, it's, it's weird. All, it's weird that you would continuously talk in front of this person. So I feel like 
like it's somewhere in the contract, like, oh, you had to make up some drama and a lot to say for Sheree to take back to the person. I, like, I, that's in the contract. I, to me, the whole, you know, making up, all of them making up with Kenya time and time again is more than enough for me. Like, it's no way. Like, Portia, you better than me. Phaedra, you, you way better than me because I would have been beat Kenya. I would, I mean, I know she's a lawyer and she has sense, but no. I would have been Drake Kenya. And then she had the nerve last night to say, what's going on with your divorce? Excuse me. And then they all want to try to say, I thought, um, oh, candy. <laughs> when you go to jail after 60 days, you can do whatever you want. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. And the problems with girlfriend is supposed to be. And that's, I'm like, y'all all, like, you know, because the, the next thing, you know, when they say, like, I'm probably going to phone, like, yeah, our divorce wasn't supposed to be finalized. She's yeah. moving on without me. You know how whole girlfriend is going to be new wife. And, and are you retarded, man? I think she may be. Did well, you, she might just want to be on the show. You, how did you meet him in jail? On Facebook? How did this happen? And my other question is, maybe they were pen pals. Does he have any money? Because Phaedra is the breadwinner. He was the thief. That's why he's in jail now. I didn't know. Okay. Um, but moving on from Real Housewives of Atlanta, some very disturbing news came out that um also before I go on, um, I just wanted to say that this past weekend was also the death anniversary of Whitney Houston, which is mm. always I always remember because it was Grammy weekend, which is every time I think about it, like it's crazy that she died. Grand weekend that she's music like mm -hmm. it's so crazy but um so the disturbing news came out that there will be a Bobby Christina biopic coming out for what I don't get it what did she do I don't what has is she is is she an artist what has she done to receive this nothing only thing I know is that she's Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown's daughter and that's she, it she's it's not deserving. She, it's unnecessary. What do we need to know about her life? They just want to show us, us her on drugs and what it was I like to grow up no, in that household. No, and, whoever has signed the papers for this, burn it. I thought Pat Houston had to do with it. Don't you ever exploit Bobby Christina. Right. Like, because that's what this is, exploitation. Yeah. This is not a biopic. This is, because the thing is, Bobby Christina hasn't done anything right. to write a biopic. She, did she drop an album? Not that I know. Or at least a singer. I don't know. Is she an author? Not sure. Has she done any? Has she done any acting? She any dancing? I don't know about the reality show. Nothing. She hasn't done anything. She doesn't even have a hair camera. It's weird. Nothing. Like let that girl no, leave rest it. in peace. Leave her alone. Leave it. Leave it. it, it I, I actually can't believe that this is actually. Who thought of it? Who ever thought of it needs to be stoned to death? thought about a hologram and it took me back to um because um i know tupac's uh the trailer came out for tupac and that movie um will be coming out soon but um back to beyonce real quick you see how my mind just went back to beyonce back to beyonce and coachella um after seeing her last night what does beyonce's stomach gonna look like at coachella she might have the babies by then honestly I... oh no that's in april she's not gonna have her babies by then Beyonce was huge last night. Like, what is hot as Coachella going to be like? Yo, you have Yo, Beyonce was hot in the audience last night. You have to remember, you have to remember that if she does do Coachella, it will probably be like so many fans pointing towards the stage, like to keep her pulled up. But it's also in April. So, I mean, it is warm, but it's not as hot as California could possibly be, which is also a good thing. And if she comes on at night, that's the only, I've been thinking about this. If she comes on at night, it may be a little bit cooler for her, but I just want to know what exactly is she going to do. Me too. Like, she can do all night in Sand Castle and all that, but this is Coachella. Like, I mean, she can do Don't Hurt Yourself because she just bops out in the cold, but I'm just... I she can't do no, don't hurt yourself. Or the fire. She can't do that. She like, <gasps> that second one the fuck do you think I am? She goes crazy. I just don't know. Like nah. after seeing her last night, I don't know how far on Beyonce is. Yeah. I, I'm 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 
definitely going for six months now. Yeah, Yo, I'm not giving a six. I'm there. I'm going to six months. I'm, I'm, I'm still not giving a six months. Who's you giving a four? Come on now. Yo, she's pregnant with twins. All right, back from me on this way. Sorry, my mind just. He's but I definitely feel like you know, because Tanae called the hologram. Two babies in there. It's extra room. Tanae um called the hologram for last night, so I definitely think she'll have one at Coachella, but she still has to do something she to herself. Be like a grown woman. Because she can definitely do that pregnant in like a little banana skirt. Yo, come on now. I mean, even though we like to see her pregnant, everybody don't want to see that. You gotta put, <laughs> you gotta put a bikini on that's low cut. I want to see all of that belly. I want to see the brown line. I want to see everything. Jay-Z and on the song China, he was saying he hope it's a boy and a girl. I hope it's a boy and a girl. He said he really wants his son. I want to I just can't wait to see how much they want to be blue eyed. I know they want to be identical. I want to have a, blue, a boy and a girl too. I'm excited. Shout out to Beyonce. Anyway, almost over. Mm -hmm. um, what else we got? Um, I want to know did anybody see this uh, long message that Amber Rose put out this morning or last night? Um, now, let me just tell you that I didn't even know that what had happened with her and Wiz Khalifa over the weekend. Like, I hadn't seen anything about that. Simona told me, but... What happened? Well, they were at a Grammy party. I thought... Oh, and they, they were together, kissing. and they were kissing. Somebody said they were back together. Yeah, all these people were saying they were back together, and one of them had on a ring or something. I don't know, but I already know that Amber and Wiz aren't getting back together. It's almost like the normal baby mother, baby father. Right. Thing. Like, they quit... Baby mother, baby father quit to fuck each other. Like, mm -hmm. they don't want to be back. They don't have to be back together. Like it's just like that's my baby father. Like it's weird. Right. That's what happens. I mean, we all, everybody knows that Amber Rose has always said she wants to have another baby with Wiz. She looks like the type that was so successful. But Wiz Khalifa is in a lifestyle that he cannot be married See, to one woman. Amber Rose is probably still sucking Wiz Khalifa's dick from the back. Honestly, let's be honest. Every time they switch the baby off, you know, you never right. know. But so you know, she came out and she was just saying that. um you know that they're not back together they were just out this weekend and they were just sharing a kiss and then she also mentioned that her and the guy Val broke up and they were still really good friends but the message was like this song and I just don't understand why you feel the need to tell everyone these things like tell you what When they do things like this, because it, it goes back to me always saying they always be like, yeah, because I don't get any privacy, the media, the uh, stop putting out stuff. Yeah, like that because they it. Unless you confirm it, it's all speculation. Exactly. We don't know your life. Exactly. We don't know what's going on. And the thing about it is, we don't care about your life. People just want to talk about you, Emperor. They just want to bring you down with you and your slut look. Chill out. I think it's weird to me because my faves are Beyonce and Kerry Washington and both of them are very protective over their private lives and they would never ever yeah. ever come out with statements like this. So it's just weird to me. I love what Beyonce does to prove people wrong. Never a statement. She, whenever she proves people wrong, it's like through a song so she can make some money off of it. Like, it's just weird. Amber, shut up. But, um, shut up. Lastly, the Image Awards was this past Saturday. Of course, you guys know I was irritated because I always miss them. I only caught like the ending of them, but I did hear about some of the winners, so I did want to tell you guys about some of the winners. Um, Denzel Washington won for Outstanding Actor in a Motion Picture, which oh, um, and his speech was very good. I heard it on the radio this morning. Um, the guy from Moonlight won for Outstanding Supporting Actors, Actor, which I want to let you guys know that I saw uh, Moonlight last week, and I just. I don't understand. That's crazy because so many people said it's a good movie. I didn't understand it. I don't understand why it has all these awards. I'm not saying it was a horrible movie, but I just... It wasn't that. It was nothing like I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Which I heard, I hear a lot of people say it about fences, so I just don't know. But um, that's just my opinion. Oh my god! Um, Marsha Martin, which is the um, Diane, Diane. Black, and she won an award. Um, Latoya Norton won for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama. Who would, you know, Tasha from Power, shout out to her. Who oh, was in that category? Oh, okay. All right, it. No, no shade. Um, Hidden Figures won. Taraji P. Henson won for Outstanding Actress in the Most Picture. Viola Davis won for Outstanding Supporting Actress. 
Um, hidden Figures 1 again. Formation 1 for Outstanding Music Video. What else we got? Um, Tashina Arnold 1 for Survivor's Remorse, which I've never watched. That's that show that, come, that used to come on After Power. I don't even know if you remember it. But she went for Outstanding Supporting Actress. Oh, the one about Kobe Bryant? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I think so. Yeah. Um, Beyonce oh, no. won. It's not about Kobe Bryant. LeBron James is yeah. like a producer or something. Yeah, damn. See, damn. Them all agree with right. Um, Beyonce won for Outstanding Duo, which was uh, for Freedom with her and Kendrick Lamar. Um, Regina King won for um, Outstanding Actress. Eliminate won Outstanding Album. Maybe. Oh my god, Courtney B. Vance won for Outstanding Actor in um, a television miniseries, which is The People vs. OJ. Somebody else won for Moonlight. Chance the Rapper won for Outstanding New Artist. Um, Moonlight won for Outstanding mm -hmm. Writing. Anything else? Um, I will say that I'm happy that they at least acknowledge Birth of a Nation because Birth of a Nation got nothing. I mean, nobody acknowledged them. It, I can't believe it. Like, don't go there. I don't even want you to say anything. If I was Nate Parker, Revolt and Hollywood and fuck some shit up. Um, just a couple more. <laughs> Jesse Smollett won for Empire for Outstanding Supporting Actor. Queen Sugar won for Outstanding Writing and um, Drama. Beyonce won Outstanding Female Artist. See, this is why I'm saying that Beyonce needs to come to award shows like this. This is exactly, listen to how many awards she got. Like, I appreciate her. I just, but um, I'm definitely gonna make sure I, I catch him. I know Anthony Anderson also won um, an award. I think that I'm not sure if Tracy won one too. Somebody's actually calling me, so I can't look back on my phone. But um, he was also the host. It was just I love the Image Awards. They are so black, and they are, they just support yeah. our people. So I just I love it. But um, I just want to say everybody have a great Valentine's Day tomorrow. We will actually be going out with some friends to go see um, Fifty Shades Darker, which I'm super excited about. All of my friends have read the book except me, um, but I pretty much already know what happened. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we won't be going out to dinner because the movie starts today, so we're going to go get um, some chicken and put it in our purses and take it in the movie theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's our Valentine's Day, and I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. Me too, honestly. Y'all know I love the chicken. <laughs> but um, we have to go now. If I forgot anything, um, I know some other things people want to be talking about. I really didn't care to talk about Beyonce being sued by... Uh, what's... Beyonce being sued? Beyonce's being sued by... Um, Who's the guy that's in the beginning of um, formation? No, uh, in the beginning. No, Messi, Ma Messi Maya. Is it Messi Maya? I thought he was dead. Yeah, he is, but his uh, his family, I believe, are suing her for using it. But I really like his time though. I don't know. Like his time though. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, my whole thing now is with someone Beyonce. We signed something, I so I know y'all had to sign something, I so I don't want to hear it. I cannot. Did they, did they not get in touch with you? I'm not. They got in touch. They definitely got in touch. Did you have to sign something? I definitely had to sign something. Did I have to fax it back for you? Yes. Okay. So I, I don't know, but um, that's just a waste of my time because if they if it does happen, Beyonce has the money to pay them, but I just feel like you're stupid for doing it because you signed up. I feel like she was playing honestly. Messy Maya. Why do I want to say Messy Mouse? Shout out to Messy Mouse. The, uh. Shout out to Messy Mouse. Um. What's I was about to say? The executor of that of his estate, uh -huh. whoever is running his financial anything, his fiduciary, has signed off. Yeah. I know it for a fact. Yeah. So. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I just saw something. Oh, and I young the one for best reality uh series. Oh, I find out I'm love girlfriend. But um we're gonna go now, we're gonna go and you I know do something to my ears. Say goodbye to our cousin, which I wish he was back in Baltimore because we can hang out all the time. Well I wish we just moved to Atlanta. He's so handsome. I don't know if I wanna move to Atlanta. Me neither. First of all, those Atlantas can't drop and I don't drop. And yeah. I yeah. Yeah. traffic is out of control. It's the and I probably would get time. It can be a backup. Yeah, I, could, I probably would get fatter. It's just literally eleven thirty in the morning. Yeah. It's a backup. What's wrong with y'all? Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna go now. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's.
time today. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. For my people who watch Scandal, I will see you on I Thursday. I hope y'all have a better Valentine's Day than me. If anybody is a couple, get it in. Um, and don't forget what I said. Valentine's Day is not all about that. Hang out with some friends. Get you some chocolate. Get you a red shirt on. Get you that heart-shaped pizza from Papa John's. Do you. If you got to be your own Valentine, do you. Boo? If you love yourself. Valentine's Day is one of my favorites. My mother it's has always. It's in red. Yeah. I'm probably like picking red tomorrow to work. Yo, my mother has always made a big deal of Valentine's Day. Like, she almost used to treat it like Christmas. She used to just. Yo, let me tell you how I used shit. to live with Tiffany. And it was Valentine's Day. Is it Christmas? She oh, wants everybody in the house gifts. Shirts. Little bracelets, pins, candies, everything. Side. Shout out to my mother. Love you. I love Cindy. She's the most holiday oriented person. She's definitely gonna have like, like some heart headband tomorrow <laughs> with like a heart necklace. You yeah. never know. Today you make a bell something cupcakes in there. Damn. Can I have one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, if this is your first time watching, we'll be here every Monday and Thursday. You know what we do. My scandal people, I will see you this Thursday. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show, and we'll be back next Monday for an all new review. Treat. Um, and if you didn't know, now you know there's no place like the show. I mean, there's no show like the show. I gotta go. Because I gotta go.